A huge win today for biomedical technology as 95% of kids with bubble boy disease have been cured by a one-time gene therapy, as in a one and done and 19 out of 20 patients will be permanently cured of bubble boy disease. You might have heard of this before. It's called severe combined immunodeficiency, which means you basically have no immune system whatsoever. It's best known as the boy in the bubble, David Vetter here, who unfortunately lived all 12 years of his life in a hermetically seized bubble. It was a nightmare. It's a disaster. It would later to go on to inspire the movie Bubble Boy about Jake Gyllenhaal, who has this same disease, going out into the world to get the girl of his dreams, regardless of what the world has in store for him. Great movie. Terrible disease. The movie makes it look a lot more romantic than it is. A lot of these children suffer. They can't drink breast milk. They can't drink formula. You can't give them a stuffed animal. They'll die. You can see the kid who originally had this disease here in a lab. This is literally how he got around and exercised. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible, nasty, nasty, nasty. And the only two treatments currently are enzyme replacement therapy, which has a tendency to not work for very long, or a bone marrow transplant, which has very serious risks that include death. But with this new gene therapy, they tested it on 62 children over uh, between 2012 and 2019. And out of those 69 children, 59 of them were 100% cured of bubble boy disease over seven years later, which is outright shocking. 98% of them were able to stop receiving immune boosting antibody infusion. So I guess that's 60 out of uh, 62. The other 5%, the other couple of kids, I guess you can't cure everybody, but it's really promising because these children that were once basically given a death sentence can now just do a one-time gene therapy and seemingly be cured for life. So I think that's a huge win for medicine.